Enhance your missions by adding adjustable parameters that will enable you to change the time, weather, difficulty, view distance, and more. Parameters are normally found in the MP lobby if you're hosting a server. So what we need to do to have parameters and set of parameters in our mission is first to have a mission. So I'm just going to place a player unit right here. We're going to save this. Our mission name is parameters. So let's go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to open scenario folder. Here we are in the mission folder and I have another folder with some scripts in them. And I'm going to share these two scripts with you. So let's start with the description.ext. And here is a basic layout for a co-op mission for five people. So minimum player, that means you can play by yourself. Maximum players is five. But let's take a look at the parameters. So you have class parameter for weather. You have class view distance parameter. And here you can adjust some things if you want. So the title is the view distance. So you have the values here. And these are the actual view distances in game, which are represented by the text. So the default is 2000. So when the mission starts at default, it is 2000 meters. So you can change this so that if you didn't want to mess with the parameters you wanted automatically set, then you could set the default for 2000 meters. And all you have to do is just change that number. So that sets your view distance. And then in terrain, you have grass density. That's basically what this is. Here you can have no grass, low grass, normal height grass, which is basically default. And then you have high grass. There's a file that's connected to this, which is this file here is accessing this. So the file is in a scripts folder and it is set terrain.sqf. The view distance is the same thing. So the view distance, you have a file that calls a script for a view distance. If we scroll down further, we have daytime, class daytime. So this, this basically sets the time of day. And then you have values for that. The default value is 12 noon. You can change that to whatever number you want, however you want your uh, numbers. So you you have midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., etc. And then noon, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., etc. Then you have stamina. Stamina, you have either no stamina and fatigue or stamina and fatigue. So that's kind of like zero and one. So these mainly deal with adjusting the, the player's sway and recoil. And then down here, you have class AI skill which calls on a skill script. And this basically adjusts the difficulty of the AI. So by default, when you start your mission, the AI's skill and abilities are set to easy. Now let's take a look at the skill script, AI skill script with realistic progression. So this script is set up so that you have the basic lowest level at the top and then the highest level at the bottom here. If you wanted to adjust these numbers, you can do that. Each one of these comments here on the right describe what each one of these do. Based on the description, the first one is very easy. So that would be this one. And the next one would be easy. So then you have this. And then you have normal. And this would be normal. And then you would have hard. And of course, this would be hard. So you could see how the number would go up. And then you'd have very hard, which is this. In the description here, you can adjust these wordings to what you want. You know, you could put this as novice or recruit or something like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zip these two files up in a zip file and link them for download in the description of the video. When you get them, put them in your mission folder like I have here. And if you already have a description ext, then just copy the class parameters and don't worry about the rest. Let's go back into the mission and see how these parameters work. So what we need to do is set up an MP LAN server. So what you're going to do is go to play at the top 
and then down to play in multiplayer MP. So we'll click that. And what that does is it sets up a server that you can host. Now, since it's just me, set it to a max players of one. We're going to give it a password. For demonstration purposes, this is how you set up an MP LAN server. And you can see here it says host LAN. So all you do once you get your thing set up, just hit OK. Give it a few seconds. And then since we only have one player, we have a rifleman unarmed group. And then basically to choose that player, you just click on it. Now the parameters that we are talking about are right here. So when you host the server and you have parameters in your mission, you're going to see the parameters button right here. And if you're running a dedicated server, it'll be in the same place. So what you do is you just click this and you're going to get all the parameters that are set in the description.ext. So you have your weather, you have your view distance, you have the grass density, you have the time of day, the stamina and fatigue, the weapon sway, the weapon recoil, AI skill, etc. So let's set these parameters. So to change the parameters, all you have to do is double click on them and you can set it to you what you want. So we'll set it to clear. We'll just hit enter and you can see at the right it changes. The view distance we will set to five kilometers. So we'll hit that. You'll see that there. Grass density, we'll just leave that as it is. Time of day, we'll set the time of day to 7 a.m. We'll leave this one alone. Player weapon and sway. I usually do slight sway. Slight recoil. AI difficulty. We'll just leave it as easy. And you can see what we have here. So once you have that, you just go back. And that will set all the parameters to what you want. And then from there, you just hit OK. And then if you go to the log, the log will actually tell you the time of day, the weather that you set, the view distance that you set, the grass density that you set. Hit continue and this will load the mission. By default I have a hint at the top. It's for view distance. You could disable that. So we set the time for 7 a.m. So you can see it's 7 a.m. on the clock. The view distance is 5,000 meters. And let's kind of go for a walk here. We can get up these rocks. And the view, di the view distance is five 5,000 meters. So that's pretty far. All right, let's go back to the, the lobby. So all you do now is you just hit abort. And then you're back in the lobby. And you, we, we could change all this stuff. So let's make it stormy. So you see it here, stormy. The, we'll leave all this as it is. And we'll set this to 6 p.m. And we'll leave the rest of as it is. So from there, you just hit back, hit OK. And here you are. Storming. And it's 6 p.m., just like we set getting wet. I hope you like that. I hope you find this useful and don't shy away from MP land or playing multiplayer by yourself because there's a lot of things you could do. So again I hope you guys find that useful and I want to thank you guys for watching for more codes and scripts. Take a look at this playlist.